we're back on i3 and um, as you can see already i have changed the coloring the themes icons and even yes even the cursor so how do we do this in i3 well you know in the procedure that i have explained to you that there is this file and there is also another file you should keep in mind which is the one here so these are the places where the system will write its configuration but there's a program you really need just to know by heart and it's windows d why windows d because we get then this little menu on top here that is our shortcut to get to the d menu and then we go type lx is enough to remember lx appearance enter and here you have it you have all the widgets so it's called widget here so for us this is the theme uh, all the themes i installed are on here these are coming from github let's quickly just open it here and these are all the themes themes icons and pack it's a, a really big collection of all uh, icons i like that are out there and also the themes with pictures included all you have to do is run a script and the script you need to have is this one to have all the icons and this one to have all the themes that's what i did i didn't install this one in the movies but i installed or tutorial and installed themes so i have a lot of themes so for instance this one is mint y but i've made the color a change in color it's not this green from mint but uh, the, the, the the red instead this is orange why not uh, change it to orange and the color i don't think this will work and an icon theme well, since I take orange, I can take, for instance, Sarti Flat Colora is orange. I can take other orange like elements to see if that fits together with another theme I have. So you choose your icon theme. I have installed Breeze Snow. I kind of like Breeze Snow, otherwise, it's like this. Uh, or this one or this one the black one or the white one and then you just apply maybe the font as well but the font is not really only well, there's not many uh, things you can change here but uh, you can change some things but they're done in the config file they're done here in the home in the eric.config i3 here you change fonts so I changed the things around. Uh, this is blue, this is the arc look, and there's only one way to show you guys uh, that it works. That's by loading off. You can do normally Windows Shift R, and this config file is then reloaded. But it is, it's not a config file, it's, um, it's the, well, the settings for your icons and themes, so it has nothing to do with i3. I could try Ctrl Alt and then tap. I'll try it. Backspace, I mean, Ctrl Alt Backspace, see what happens. There's a shortcut that works in Unix Mint, but nothing happens now. So the only thing you can do is just log off, log on, and then you'll see the effect and you will have orange icons. And I'll show that in the next movie. So that's how you change icons and themes.